Today is Christmas, December 25th, 2013, and this is Venus. That is the planet. That's not the moon. That is the planet Venus. For Christmas, I got an adapter which hooks up my camera, which is a Canon T4i, up to my telescope, which is an 8-inch Celestron XLT, and it's just uh, pretty easy. You just slap that thing on and put the camera on, and uh, it's a little bit difficult to focus, but not impossible. And after fiddling with it a little bit, I got a pretty decent focus on it. And right now, Venus is almost between the Earth and the Sun. It's, it's actually swinging around in its orbit, getting closer and closer to the Sun as we see it from the Earth. So it's getting to be a thinner and thinner crescent. But as it does that, it gets bigger. So even with binoculars, you can see that crescent. It's pretty easy. And with a telescope and a camera hooked up, there it is. Now, I don't have my uh, motor drive hooked up to the telescope, unfortunately, and that's what tracks the motion of the stars in the sky. So you see Venus slowly moving across the field of view here. If I had the motor drive hooked up, I could keep it centered pretty well. Uh, but that's really it. It's all it takes, you know, and, and even if you don't have a fancy schmancy setup like this, just going out with binoculars is great. Um, right now, though, Venus is swinging in between the Earth and the Sun. As it does that, every day at sunset, when you look to the southwest, you'll see it, but it'll be lower and lower at the same time every night. So I suggest getting out there now and taking a look, because it is phenomenally bright, even by the naked eye. Through binoculars, you can see the crescent, and of course, through a telescope, it looks like this.